Welcome to Guitar Rebuild uh, number 10 and this is just uh, quickly uh, everything is now finished and all I want to do is um, clean up all the components especially all the hardware so that the whole guitar can be assembled uh, this little back plate the same as with um, any scratch plate the easiest thing to do is to just wash it with dishwashing liquid with lukewarm water and um, just get it nice and clean nothing abrasive unless the scratch plate is is uh, broken or deeply scratched or has any other issues um, I would just clean it and use it again because uh, you know, there's no need to rebuy one that's as simple as that the next thing we want to do is get all the hardware nice and clean. So uh, in here we've got the bridge assembly, the little pieces, all the little screws, even this assembled the little saddles. And the reason we want to do that is because we want to get into every nook and cranny, everywhere where there might be slight oxidization or rust or gunk or goo, we want out. Um, I'm sure your mother said the same to you. Something's worth doing this, worth doing it well. Well, this is one of those occasions. So, first thing we're going to do is use WD 40 because it's the best stuff in the world. This will literally get rid of all the oxidization. I've got a window open, you can't see it, but don't uh, work with the stuff in too much of a closed environment. In fact, it's probably best if you use the little nozzle. Where am I? Spray. Problem. All we're trying to do is cover everything and let it steep. The WD-40. I have got rid of all the oxidization without you having to sit there and scrape it. Those sort of things. It'll get really clean. Don't be afraid to give this some time. This stuff literally is best stuff under the sun. I'll let that steep for a while, get all the stuff off and we'll be back in a second. So now that this has been in here for a while, everything has been dissolved that should be dissolved and the uh, parts are now clean. So now we want to get all the WD-40 off. Uh, that's actually fairly simple, it's all oil based, so we can dump it all run it all out into a sieve now although it seems as if we're making a mistake here putting water on these components the point is that these are all treated so all the kind of rust that was on there was like from years and years not like from yesterday so uh, this is not really going to do anything to it we're just rinsing the main stuff off rinsing the wee bucket out Putting it back in. Now to the last clean. It's just some white spirits. Again, the beauty of all of this stuff is that it can all be easily cleaned and washed and rinsed out with just some basic washing liquid. Because it's all kind of oil based. And ideally, you do this with some gloves. I'm just doing this really quickly. Touching anything? Well, not really. And um, these things are becoming shiny, shiny, shiny. In that party, everything is nice and shiny. And once we rinse the white spirits out. We wash it one more time with very well, dishwashing liquid. 
and that gets rid of all the remaining awfulness. And then we have to make sure that it dries quickly so there's no chance of any funny rust. By the time you've rinsed it a few times and there's no more spirits or somebody to put it on, you can start thinking about washing the last bits with your fingers. Hot water, hot water and soap always do the trick. And put it onto something that you can now put into a warm place so it dries nice and fast. And all these little screws. So everything is nice and burly and shiny. And it goes back into the guitar. <sighs> Everything washed and sparkly. And unless the components are terribly quality, they probably won't rust for another or oxidize for another five, six years. And that is that. Thank you very much.